in African inventions, especially when it comes to inventing of planes, you never hear any plane that was invented in Africa that ever took off until South Africa came into the picture. Building, you know, um, some of the tools that we were using to build this airplane. So that was one of the challenges that we faced. It took us about three weeks for the teenagers to build the plane. It was very difficult because you had to read from engineering manuals. And this is the Sling 4 and it was built by teenagers in South Africa. And to my surprise, this plane actually flew from Cape Town to Cairo. Plane that is going to be flown from Cape Town to Cairo. On the trip, we are planning to go from South Africa. That's over 15,000 kilometers. I mean, I was amazed. Children actually made this. My name is Lesoho Mashodi Masheng. I am 16 years old. I was part of the team that built the vertical stabilizer, also known as the radar of the airplane. And Because when it comes to inventions, Africans, we are known that we're not that great. But what these children have done is something mind-blowing because they are trying to rewrite the history books, especially for Africa. It was very difficult because you had to read from engineering manuals and you need to have a 3D type of brain to be able to see what you're doing and I really don't have that. I'm not really a technological person, so it was actually very difficult for me. This is the first African plane to fly that distance. Because we've seen planes that are made in Africa just fly a few feet. But for this plane, 15,000 kilometers is quite a feat. Now, the teenager who came up with this idea is called Megan. My name is Megan Werner. I'm 17 years old and I'm the founder of U Dream Global. It's a great now, the person who came up with this idea is called Megan. Now, Megan's father is a pilot. And so through this, Megan was also able to get a flying license. So when Megan had this idea of building a plane, you know, she thought, why not invite my fellow teenagers? A group of 20 teenagers that have built a plane and now we are flying it across Africa from Cape Town to Cairo. So they went through schools and had over a thousand applicants. But, you know, you can't, you can't use a thousand people to make just one single plane. So out of that a thousand people, they selected 20. And out of those 20, they made this and they made this plane within a span of three weeks which is quite impressive building this airplane was not an easy task at all it came with a lot of challenges mostly because firstly some of us it was our first time holding like a, a, a pop rivet it was the first time holding you know um some of the tools that we were using to build this airplane so that was one of the challenges that we faced because just considering the numbers i know there is always i know this there, there is power in numbers and this is actually what attests to it. Because when it comes to other African inventions, you know, you'll find in, uh, inventors here and there trying to do things on their own, you know. Well, you know, this is a great example of the Wright brothers because, you know, when the Wright brothers were starting, they weren't alone. They had numbers. And I guess that's one of the things that African inventors get wrong because you need numbers if you want to go far. And so that's what Megan did. So through these other teenagers that Megan had, they were able to build this plane and this plane is called Sling 4. It's a four-seater uh, light aircraft and uh, this is how they made it. I'm Agnes Kiamoghetsu Siamela and I built the beautiful wings on this plane and I also built the center fuselage and I also built the horizontal and the vertical stabilizer. My name is Resoho Moroga and I'm 18 years old and I built the central fuselage which is known as the cockpit. It's over here. My name is Lesoho Mashodi Masheng. I am 16 years old. I was part of the team that built the vertical stabilizer, also known as the radar of the airplane. And it's basically this whole part out here. And through those three weeks, these students remember they had no, 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 prior, no prior knowledge to engineering. They had to learn everything right there, right there and then. And so when they learned everything and, you know, and so after reading engineering books while they were with Megan and all that, they came up with this and I think it's quite impressive. I think it's quite impressive. During the maiden flight event, the South African teens saw their plane fly for the first time. But don't forget that South Africa, you can't compare South Africa to countries like Kenya, countries like Sudan. South Africa is, is quite an economic giant in Africa. I guess that's also an advantage to why these kids were able to make such, a, such kind of a plane. 
and mind you sling 4 is is also built by is also built by a company in south africa called uh african planes called african planes yeah so that company i guess it was actually trying to experiment on or and also trying to motivate children so through that that's where how megan came came out uh, that's how megan came and built this uh sling 4 and it was quite a success because uh, during their journey they traveled from cape town zimbabwe malawi tanzania kenya ethiopia eritrea and then you know cairo on the trip we are planning to go from south africa to uh, namibia and then off to zambia to go to vic falls and then we are going from there to lake malawi which is going to be really cool uh to tanzania and kenya which is going to be really cool because those people are so friendly uh uganda uh rwanda and then also of course ethiopia and then cairo so the trip and remember that it's not the 20 kids that actually got to fly the plane it was actually just four Megan and her co-pilot and also they were being accompanied by another Sling 4 plane. You know when, when they were flying they had a supporting aircraft but that supporting aircraft developed problems when they were in Ethiopia. Right? Like it started leaking fuel. For safety, two adult pilots will fly a second plane similar to the one the teens built for the trip from South to North Africa and back. So, you know, it had to land and all that. So Megan and her colleague had to fly the, the rest of the journey alone. Like the teenagers had to fly from Ethiopia now to Cairo alone without any supporting aircraft. And so they did. They did that. But, but the moment when they entered uh, the Egyptian airspace, they encountered some issues. There were some issues with their avionics. And so they had to make an emergency landing at an airstrip in Aswan, Aswan in Egypt. And when they got there, they were almost arrested, right? Because they had no prior permission to land there. So you can imagine it was quite scary for the kids, you know, because you are, you almost crashed. And then when you make that emergency landing, you almost get arrested. So you can imagine how scared uh, the kids were. But after that, they, they actually found out that the plane had some small wiring issue, actually. It was just wiring issues. So after they fixed it and got some fuel, they got back to the airspace and they landed in Cairo, finally. But in Ashwan, they had to make some calls, you know, for them to not get arrested, though that do not postpone your dreams you can actually achieve what you want to achieve right now this instant you are more than capable of doing so so i think this is an amazing feature when it comes to african engineering and the fact that this was made by kids it's an achievement in its own right because as much as it's not a, a backyard invention as much as these kids had all the resources and all the you know the capital the support all the engineers that were there with them it's, it's quite a fit because at the end of the day, they were just kids. And the reason for them to go from country to country was to stop at, like, if they were stopping in, uh, let's say, because, you know, they were traveling from Cape Town to Cairo. So so the stops that they were, they were making in countries like Zimbabwe, Malawi, and Tanzania, they would stop and try and encourage the kids around there, around, around those countries and tell them, you know, it's possible. It's possible for you to also make these planes. Like, they were using that as a form of motivation to so, to show other kids uh, in Africa that it's also possible. You know, you don't have to come from a Western world to be able to, to make such a plane. And I guess they did. I guess they did. I guess they did have an impact. Time. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's it for this video. I mean, these kids did an amazing work trying to invent a plane. Yeah. So that's it for today. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.